hydrocarbon derivatives that have this functional group at the end. That's called a functional group, like the OH is a functional group, uh, that alcohol part. Well, this is called the carboxylic acid part. And whatever the rest of it is, you're always going to have this at the end, which is really nice. It's kind of located right there. It's deposited right at the end of the molecule. Now I don't have to worry a lot about figuring out where it is. It's always at the end. So this one, though, let's say that that's a hydrogen. So if that's a hydrogen there, what do you call this? Well, all carboxylic acids end in oic acid. So this is going to be, because this is a meth, and it used to be methane, we're going to go, m m not math, Ugh, we don't like math, no, we like meth, yeah, we like, no, we don't like meth, not meth, you know, okay, methan, and then this is oic acid, so methanoic acid, right, it's also, there's another name for that too, by the way, and another way, way that uh, originally organic molecules were called was not just with meth prefix, but also with form, so this was also called formic acid, because form comes from the Greek formica, which means ant, like the little bugs that crawl on the ground. Because when they bite you, they deposit an acid into you, which causes a swelling and itching. And that's this, formic acid. Get it? Or methanoic acid. IUPAC would prefer that name, of course. What's that one called? Well, it's got F, F with anoic acid. Yeah, yeah, that's ethanoic acid. Hey, what else is ethanoic acid to you? Ethanoic acid. Well, you know that to be, when you drop it to a concentration that is far less than the 16 mole per liter that this can come in concentrated form, like at about 3% solution, you get vinegar. That's vinegar right there. There's your ethanoic acid. Another prefix for the ethan was always acet, acetic acid, right? So this is acetic acid or ethanoic acid right here. Now, what are you going to call this one right here? Yeah, that's pretty obvious, isn't it? One, two, three carbons long with the oic acid at the end. That's propanoic acid. Now, there's one that you just might need to be aware of. Watch this. Plonk. What? Not another one of these di-substituted derivative things. Yo, we didn't do one before either. But, by the way, if I said to you, what's the name of this? And we have an OH group here and an OH group here. That molecule right there would be called, well, that's ethanol, but it's got two alls in it, so it's ethandiol, right? Ethandiol. What would this be called? Well, that's going to be called ethane, e ethane, and there's two oic acids, so it's ethane dio dioic <laughs> acid. Nobody likes to call it ethane dioic acid because if you're familiar with your acid base unit still, H O O C C O O H. That's oxalic acid. 